We, we came in this morning. I, I flew into Abuja this morning. Israel had flown in yesterday to honor the invitation extended to him by the Nigerian police, the first criminal intelligence and investigation department. Uh, to a petition filed by Apostle Johnson Suleiman, who is the founder of the Omega uh, Fire Ministries. Uh, now we, I came in with my clients, and I said we got in here past 10. If you look at the time, uh, this is from minutes past 7. So cumulatively, we have spent over seven hours, over eight, eight hours, hours, eight hours plus, eight eight hours. Hours plus just to respond to a petition over what I consider to be a very funny, a very funny allegation made by Suleiman, because he had alleged that he, he commanded angels to send miracle alerts or miracle money to some persons in Aochi in Edo State and of course Atlanta Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia in the United mm -hmm. States. My client as well came out, disavowed, debunked and of course challenged the credibility and the veracity of those claims, claims which for us remains outlandish, remains false, irresponsible and incapable of being proved clearly unsubstantiated. So we came here, it took even hours, several hours for the police to take a statement. There were a lot of arguments back and forth, altercations at some point, and cases where, instances where I felt these had gone beyond voluntary statement. This was about trying to force somebody to implicate himself. Of course we refused to be intimidated. So that also led to a series of things that I may not want to say here. Now after all said and done, we met with the SCP, Assistant Commissioner of Police, uh, YY Abu Bakr, who had signed the invitation letter. And he expressed his opinion about the case, which I disagree with, but I respect his opinion, because as I said, that is his opinion. Whether Israel is, has committed an offense or not will be for the court to determine. Interestingly, I also met the lawyer, Elena Friend, who is the lawyer to Apostle Suleiman. He also came around uh, today. And I, he engaged me in a conversation. I don't want to disclose the details. After we had finished all that marathon hours of discussion, I had expected that the police, given that Israel came voluntarily, will release him and ask him to come back because he honored the invitation. If you are inviting somebody for purpose of interrogation, the moment you say you cannot go except you produce a shorty, what that implies in law is that you have converted the police invitation to arrest. Yes. The moment a suspect can no longer live at his own will, by his own volition, that is no longer within the realm of invitation. That is now an arrest. So the implication is that Israel Balogun has been arrested by the police. He's currently in their cell. He's not coming out, obviously, tonight because of what looks like very stringent and difficult bail conditions. They requested for two shorties. They said one has to be level 14 civil servants who should present either his letter of last promotion or a letter of introduction. Of course, we brought a level 13 and we appealed to them and they agreed to take the person. But somehow, because of the time, we couldn't get the original copy of his letter of last promotion. But we presented the photocopy and, we, and even his ID card, he was willing to drop them, a federal civil servant. But they insisted, again, that he must also, in addition to letter of last promotion, present his ID card, and also present letter of introduction, which are clearly outside the bail form that my clients feel. Again, there was also a requirement that there should be a second shorty who should be a business person and has either certificate of occupancy, C of O, or certificate of incorporation of a company. We brought a retired civil servant with certificate of occupancy. With even original copy, the police refused to release as well, insisting that he must produce a civil servant. What is the offense? They are talking about defamation. They are talking about alleged cyber stalking. I don't believe those are matters that should warrant such stringent conditions that are peculiar to capital offenses like murder, kidnapping, terrorism, and so on. 
So for me, this is just, again, an attempt <laughs> by somebody who feels he has money, somebody who feels he has power, to press a Nigerian that he feels is vulnerable. But our message to Apostle Suleiman is clear and simple. We are not going to back down. We are not going to be intimidated. We are not going to allow you to put us in a situation that will make you continue to harass other citizens. So we will come back tomorrow hoping that the police will release him, hoping that those conditions will be reconsidered or alternatively met. But for the purpose of today, this is where we are. Edwin is in custody. And we hope that the police as an institution will also think <coughs> about the dent, the damage that this singular case will do to the police as an institution and to Nigeria as a country. Because what can be more scandalous, what can be more embarrassing to a country than for a citizen to be detained because he said that angels cannot send money to people's accounts? Simple. So the angels, I came to the politician, I have not seen any of the angels. No angels. No angels. I haven't seen any of those who received the alerts. We are still waiting for the angels to show up. Yes. Because Suleiman must produce those angels. Yes. On no account will we relinquish on that demand. Yes. He has to produce those angels. Those persons will come. We will subpoena their banks to see their statements so that we will know from which bank of heaven these monies came from. This is the kind of madness that we see in this country. And because impunity has taken over the fabric of Nigeria, People like Suleiman continue to use the police to hunt private citizens. Mm -hmm. Nobody will be intimidated. Nobody will be coerced yes. into silence. Yes. So let the Inspector General of Police save the Nigerian police from this embarrassment. Save the country from this scandal. And stop this macabre dance, this, this scandal that is going on in the name of investigation. That is all the comments I can make for now. And lastly, we have told them we are not afraid of going to court. It would be very good for Suleiman to enter the witness box, for his angels to testify on his behalf. Yes. Nigerians have not seen angels before. I believe this is a good opportunity yeah, for sure. us to see and know what angels look like, very well. because he has to produce them. Again, I have also made the point earlier that, look, the country is almost at the point of recession. The government can barely fund. Nigeria is borrowing from China. Mm -hmm. Suleiman has this grace of commanding angels to send money. Why not help the country? Thank you. Yeah, we need it. Call these Thank angels you. to send money to the Federation account yes. or the Treasury single account yes. to help the country out of the economic and financial crisis that it is going through. Mm -hmm. If did you have this capacity to command angels to deposit money in the account of people who claim to be your members, also help the country. So the president should send the minister of finance to lead a delegation to meet Suleiman, for him to call his angels to send money to help the country. I believe that will be in the interest of, until he does that, until he does that, we are waiting for him to have his day in court. Because for me, it is not Israel Balogun who will be on trial. It is Apostle Suleiman and every clergy or pastor in this country that has abused the trust of the Nigerian people that will be on trial. Yes. It is Suleiman who will answer for his statements and comments. Yes. It is Suleiman who will have the burden and the onus of proof of substantiating the allegations that he made. They can show their power at the police station, but we will have solace in the courts. Yes. But we are still calling on the police to do what is right. Because you cannot be saying you are a law enforcement agency and yet you are allowing the law to be violated in the name of protecting a big man.